What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair, your league. So, Rashawn Rock and Blueface caught out together again. Uh, we about to get into this. This is Tea Room. Let's get it. So, after about a week-long breakup and Blueface getting back with his baby mama, Jaden, it appears that Krishan and Blueface are back together again. Now, yesterday, they were spotted out in Miami together. Not only were they together, they were pretty much hugged up. Now, Krishan did inform everyone that she would be performing today at the fight. So stay tuned. Now, I'm guessing this is why they were with Floyd Mayweather back in Vegas. Hell yeah, Floyd working with Zeus. They getting that money. Vegas they get a couple money. weeks ago. The same time that they were involved in that altercation that caused Blueface to get locked up recently. Now, just a few days ago, after he was released from jail, he did. Well, you say dumb shit all the time when I got locked up. So oh, damn well, you called me because I actually love you, my dumb ass. Been in jail right there over copy. Uh, did post some text messages between himself and Krishan, and I'm not going to read the text messages, but you guys can pause and read. read Basically, Blueface called Krishan from jail, so now she's stating like, hey, look, you still care about me because you call me because you know that I'll always be there for you. She was basically stating that I can't lose you. I could never leave you. Mind you, you guys, Blueface has been trolling her this whole time, sleeping with his baby mother. But Krishan is still- He needs her really badly and he knows it. He no, not it. over it. She, she don't know it. She can't let him go. I heard what the- Are you gonna lie? Oh, shit. They heard me say all of that weird ass shit. Over. Now, Blueface had also confirmed that Krishan was the reason that he was in jail. Now, how things went down, allegedly, someone was recording them. Krishan got mad and got into a fight with the girl. Then Blueface picked up her phone, and that's why they charged him with robbery. Krishan got to quit fighting folk, and they need to quit locking people up for giving a gun back. I mean, a tripping. See, it, it seems so like dramatic but it's a phone for giving a phone back rather it's dumb shit although it was stated that he did give the girl her phone back so now while Blueface was in jail Krishan was heard in the background of her brother's Instagram live video stating that Blueface deserved to be there if you guys have not checked out my other video on this topic I will link it at the top here but as always I want to know your opinions on this down in the comment section below how do you guys feel about Blueface and Krishan getting back together once again Child, none of us are surprised what is the other video that t was talking about uh this four days ago so Krishan has spoken out since Blueface's arrest oh, now I she was heard in this. the background of her brother's Instagram live stating girl a mess like y'all honestly Krishan ain't going nowhere so, bruh and i don't even know why we all care i'm about to read some of these comments uh we shouldn't even be surprised i've been saying that they will keep going back and forth with each other facts that's a shame people have such high hopes for this girl then she go back then she go then she go back and do the same thing now that's insanity right what they have had was love at one time but now i'm not even sure what to call it not not love, that's for sure. If you truly love someone from deep in your heart, you don't go around disrespecting them by embarrassing them, talking and treating them like dirt out of the out in the public and online and especially breaking that loyalty and trust. You want to bring your partner up, not down. Rock needs to take care of her health and that unborn child. All the drama, emotions, and mental abuse is not good. They both need to realize uh, that part at least. And you know what's so crazy? Like the way that Zeus shit was set up last night, y'all, that was dangerous as hell. <laughs> like, first of all, Jocelyn Hernandez just got charged for battery and then four charges of battery for that. And um, like that shit was not safe. I would not have wanted to be in the vicinity that day. You know what I'm saying? Not because I'm scary, girl, because who? It's just that when I say not safe, 
you can get stampeded on, you know what I'm saying? Like, or get hit by one of them huge ass six feet uh, tall men. I ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. Or you fuck around and be in a fight because you in the wrong place. Like <laughs> Jocelyn hit a girl yesterday. She just hit a girl for no reason, right? And then the girl threw a drink on Jocelyn. Now, I don't know why the hell she thought she could throw that drink and run in some hills, baby, but she ended up getting whooped. This is stupid. But anyway, they feeding off people's negative need for negative energy. Got us crying our mental out for the drama. And they never broke up. Clout, clout, clout. Who crying? <laughs> Rashawn got low self-esteem and not even celebrity status can help her. She's doomed. Damn. When you're young, you just have to learn the hard way sometimes. Sad, though. You can never tell a woman to leave someone until she's fully ready to leave them. And that's a fact. For some people, it takes a while for them to learn the hard way. Once she is completely fed up, she will leave him for good. Now, that's a fact. Shake my head when sympathy runs out for her and she has, she has to go back to square one. She's going to be crying and wishing she would have did it the right, did it right the first time. She had everybody on her side. Shake my head, and she still got people on her side because they get one whiff. Hell, even when I get one whiff of, you know, she might be doing her own thing. I'm like, yes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But it never like it just never works out that way you know what i'm saying it never works out so y'all honestly i just hope that um she get she get it one day but it, it will be on her own terms that's a fact y'all really thought she was gonna leave him alone ha 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 just like j cole said don't save her she don't wanna be safe or whoever said it at this point because j cole said that Oh, yes, he did. Don't save her. But he got it from somewhere else. 3-6 Mafia. I'm going to introduce me. Project Pat, I keep it real. All right, y'all. Jokes aside. We're going to go ahead and uh, end this video. Um, Krishan is literally going to do whatever Krishan wants to do. And um, that's B with Blue. We can't stop her. Ain't nobody stop her, baby. That's what she want to do. And that's what she on do. Okay. Um, in the meantime, in between time, we'll figure it out. We we gonna have to figure it out, okay? Cause we the ones over here feeling some type of way, and not her, okay? Uh, but I'm praying for, I'm praying for, just like I be praying for everybody else, including myself. So y'all, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I ain't even gonna ask y'all, do y'all think Krishan is gonna leave him? But do y'all think one day, just one day, she gonna wake up? That's the question.